video is a Q&A, so I'm gonna be answering some questions. First one being, does hard work pay off? Hard work pays off, yes, but what's the point when you can just gamble? Nuts or shaft? So if you're asking which one I'd rather keep, like if, if I had to get rid of one, I'd probably choose to get rid of the shaft and keep the nuts. Because the nuts are kind of irreplaceable. Also, if I ever travel to the US or the UK, they can probably fix me a new shaft. You see two ships, both are sinking. On one of them is Andrew Tate and the second one is KSI. Who are you saving? Well, uh, I'm 25% black, so... I, I can't swim. However, if I could swim, I, honestly, I'd probably wait for both of them to drown and then swim over to their floating bodies and uh, loot whatever is whatever there is left in their pockets. Like I said, I'm 25% black. How much liberal are you? I, I think I could easily be considered a liberal. Maybe by the standards of like North Korea. How to resist committing vehicular manslaughter. I really tried my best to find actual normal questions, by the way. This isn't me trying to pick the worst questions. This is pretty much what every question is. Um, okay, so how to resist committing vehicular manslaughter. I personally don't have a license. So if I was ever gonna commit such a horrific crime, I'd much rather do it lawfully. How can I win an argument against a woman? Uh, well, generally speaking, if you have a gun pointed at somebody that you're arguing with, you're usually gonna win the argument. That's kind of a, like a gender neutral solution. So if you want, if you want something like to specifically win you arguments against women, make sure that if you're ever gonna argue with a, a woman, never do it outside of the Middle East. Because in the Middle East, it's, as we all know, illegal for women to win arguments. Yeah, which is a good thing. I'd vote for it. Hey man, I know you're really stressed about your YouTube channel and bringing good content for us. Always remember that we won't give you and we're never gonna let you down. We're never gonna run. That actually ruined my mood. I honestly, I want to say the n-word so bad right now. I don't have any questions. I just want to thank you for changing my life after watching your last business masterclass. I managed to do my first 40k a month as a 19 year old organ seller entrepreneur. Any advice on how to hit the next milestone? It seems like this is one of my students that's clearly made a great use of my organ selling masterclass. Uh, so I'm proud of you. If you want to make more money, if you want to make more cheddar, uh, you can buy my other course that I have on modern day slavery. There's uh, approximately 50 million slaves today. That's a fact, by the way. Yeah, lots of people making lots of money. And buy my course in the description and I'll make sure you don't miss out. How did you get this outstanding sense of humor? Uh, traumatic brain injury. What is your daily Sigma male grind set routine? I wake up in the morning and that's usually the first mistake that I make. How do you stay motivated to, to keep waking up every morning? I, I gaslight myself into thinking that it's worth it. How many push-ups and pull-ups can you do in a row? I honestly don't know if I could be bothered to actually go outside and film this, but if I could, it's gonna be right here. Favorite magic spell. If you really think about it, racial slurs are kind of like magic spells. They're just words, but they get, they have like such a real world effect. Like you can't, obviously you can't like open doors by saying the N word or anything, but you can, you can get a whole crowd of people to turn around and look at you. What is your opinion on Zimbabwe as a country? Um, this is actually interesting. I know nothing about Zimbabwe. All right, I'm going to look up the Zimbabwe flag and judge it completely based on its flag. I mean, it's a cool looking flag. Uh, is that is that supposed to be a pigeon? It looks like a pigeon. I feel like if you're gonna choose an animal to represent your country, a bird that is well known for spreading disease is probably not the best choice. Can you make more David Goggins content? Actually, a funny story, uh, when I, I went to a, a university in uh, Titwan, somebody recognized me there and they walked up to me and they said, hey, are you the guy that does the David Goggins impression on YouTube? And I don't know if I can say what I did to them. I don't want to incriminate myself, but uh, it was very traumatic. Thoughts on Zhang Hyong. What is that? CEO of Hai Di Lao. All right, here's my opinion on what's his name again? Zhang Hyong. I think his barber should should get charged for crimes against humanity. Will you bring back the evil David Goggins series? Probably not. Uh, but if you do want me to bring it back, those videos are really fun to make. The reason why I'm hesitant is because I don't want to make it 
excessive where it's like, all right, can we get something else going on here? Uh, actually, both of those videos got demonetized, so I'm not really benefiting from them anymore. I honestly don't know. The reason why I haven't made a third one is because I feel like it might... I, I don't want it to get excessive where I'm just doing the same stuff over and over again. But if you guys want to see another one, tell me in the comments. Also, if there's another person that you'd like me to make a parody out of, leave it in the comments. Because, uh, yeah, I enjoy doing skits and parodies and... The more ideas that I have, the better. So, as usual, we don't really have any outros on this channel, so I'm just gonna promote some shit. We have a Discord server. Uh, it's really fun. You've got people making edits of me. Actually, join the Discord, because I'm probably gonna be doing, like, competitions and stuff in the future where you guys can submit stuff. I know, this sounds really original. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna do something like that, so join the Discord. And also, I have an Instagram. This channel has like 2 million subscribers, I'm pretty sure. I haven't checked, but it's probably somewhere around that. This channel has a lot of subs, and my Instagram account has like 3 followers. Please go follow me. I answer every DM that I get, so go ahead, uh, send me all the death threats. I'm honestly not sure what I'm gonna do with this vape. Uh, I figured I might give it to, um, like a homeless guy. So he can vape it and still be hungry. Honestly, I don't know what to do with this thing. Uh, it was 35 bucks, which is very expensive. I mean, it might not seem expensive to you, but that's like my yearly salary. Anyways, have a good day.